What's up everyone, it's Q from RetroQ Gaming, and yes, I want to talk about the kind of thing I usually talk about in regards to some issues I'm having with a certain company and a certain product they make and certain bad design choices and how it affects everyone and how it's a terrible idea. So, we all know, despite what many people will actually tell you, I am not a Nintendo Switch hater. I love my Nintendo Switch, I play it a lot, and I absolutely love playing Mario Odyssey. It's one of the best games this year, and I'm still currently have an ongoing playthrough. So you can't really call me a Nintendo Switch hater. I have many valid criticisms of the Nintendo Switch, which you will find in their own related videos in this channel. But if you watch those videos and listen to what I have to say, you can see it's logical and my issues make perfect sense. Let's go on to the version that this form is taking today when I'm talking about this now and this kind of issues that I'm having. So Nintendo, or specifically Rockstar, I should say, have lifted some details on the upcoming LA War remastered coming to Nintendo Switch as well as PS4 and Xbox One and the whole VR PC thing in November of 2017. So it's actually November now, so it's going to be out in about two weeks. And this is where the issue I have, or the issue starts cropping back up. So, Nintendo have released a Nintendo Switch, as we all know, with 32 gigabytes of internal storage. Because of formatting, I won't say issues, but because of how formatting works, as well as the operating system, etc., etc., you have roughly 26 gigabytes of internal storage, free and accessible, on your day one Switch with nothing on it but a user account. And this has become a problem for multiple games and multiple people in many ways, shapes, and forms for the simple reason is there are a few games out there that will not fit on a Nintendo Switch. Regardless, you are absolutely obliged to purchase additional sold separately external storage because Nintendo opted to use not enough storage in the modern day and age that their console released in. And L.A. Noir is partially going to lead on to that issue. Now, I say partially, you'll see why now in a second. If you get the digital version of Nintendo Switch release of L.A. Noir in two weeks when it comes out, it requires a 29 gigabyte installation. And remember, you can't install something that requires 29 gigabytes on the 26 gigabytes you have free. That's an issue right there. Now, yes, it can be installed to a micro SD card. But again, the point is it requires additional sold separate purchase. And the reason why they kind of get away with it when it comes to LA Noir, because some games absolutely 100% require an external storage purchase naturally, regardless, no matter what you do, physical or digital. But in the case of LA Noir, you can at least, I say that almost sarcastically, or unironically, or whatever, whatever way you want to look. No, it wouldn't be unironic, but we'll, we'll go with sarcastically. At least if you buy a physical edition of the game, of L.A. Noir, you only need to... <laughs> only, this sounds so stupid to say as only. You only need to download a 14 gigabyte patch. And this patch is absolutely required because it includes gameplay content. So it actually improve. It actually includes some of the main game required to play. Now, because it's a 14 gigabyte download, that means that Rockstar have opted to use a 16 gigabyte game card. Because when you take formatting into consideration, you're looking at about 15 gigabytes. So 15 plus 14 is your 29 right there. And remember, the Nintendo Switch version of L.A. Noir already costs 10 dollars and 10 euro more than other platforms. Now the almost very very barely saving grace of this is the fact that if you buy the physical version of the game because the additional download is only 14 gigabytes that you can actually fit it on internal storage to say that is as a positive is so mind-blowing in 2017 and i've made this video multiple times about multiple different videos of uh, multiple different videos about multiple different games and multiple different storage solutions and multiple different issues and i'm going to continue to do so in fact as i'm recording this video right now i am currently uploading to youtube the previous video i've just made about wwe 2k18 having storage issues on nintendo switch even if you buy the physical edition of the game now the main reason i split these or talk about these one by one by one as they come up and as they are issues is i want to drive home the fact that 
look, I can point at something and say, look at these examples. Look at all of these videos about these individual specific games that this is a problem. It's not becoming a problem. It was a problem when it was announced to have 32 gigabytes of internal storage in 2017. And that Nintendo opted to use the proprietary game card system that they have developed that costs more to publishers than whatever other format when you go above 16 gigabyte. You know, 16 gigabyte, which is hmm, about half, if not a third or a quarter of what a lot of games actually take up nowadays in space. Before I hit the outro anyway, because I feel like I've made my point, I'm just gonna drive it home one little bit of extra more time. Do you know how many games there are on Nintendo Switch that if you buy them, if you buy a Nintendo Switch and try to buy any of these games digitally, do you know how many there are that won't fit on your Nintendo Switch? Less than one year eight months after launch there are five games that will not fit on your nintendo switch as it is at the moment if you buy a switch and only try to download these games digitally do you know how many games there are on ps4 and xbox one even if you use the small the smallest ps4 hard drive available or the smallest xbox one hard drive available with any game available on that system with all current patches, all current DLC, all current content updates, all current everything, all current 4K textures, do you know how many games will not fit on the smallest iteration of either of those consoles? Zero. So that's it, the usual. Let me know in the comments section below what you think about the situation Nintendo have created and that is, well, essentially possibly turning third parties off and passing the brunt of the extra, we'll call it cost, onto consumers because <sighs> I, I don't even know at this point. I've said it a million times and I'll keep saying it a million times. If this continues to happen, you will see more of this video. Just replace LA Noir with whatever hot new game comes out that requires it. Replace WWE 2K18 with whatever hot new game requires it. Etc, etc, etc. It's not going to stop. It's going to get worse before it gets better, and you can damn well believe I'm going to keep talking about it. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the whole situation in the comments section below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the rest of the videos in my channel.